Greetings, my name is Tim. Welcome to Little Steps. You can reach me at HowDoIDoThis01 at Yahoo.com. Thank you for tuning in today. Uh, today we're going to cover virtual desktop programs. Now you have many options out there available in the Apple environment and in the Linux slash Ubuntu environment. You can upload some desktop virtual programs that are going to be very cool and they're going to be very useful. The reason a virtual desktop program is useful is it economizes your desktop space. What do I mean by economized desktop space? A virtual desktop allows you to use your desktop with full screen applications, switch between the applications by switching desktops. That also means you can open up multiple programs on multiple desktops which gives you more flexibility to work within programs or multiple programs using full screen and switching between those programs and the desktops without any adverse effects to what you're doing. As you can see here, virtual desktops are kind of cool because I can switch between my desktops. Now let me point some of the features out. This is Virtual Win. It's a multiple virtual desktop program. I'm going to give you the links for this one and I will put the links up for the other programs during this video in the video itself. I'm not going to post the links in the description box for now because the fact of the matter is this is only the first video in a little step. I want to go through the different pros and cons of using the different virtual programs and I want you to examine each one carefully before you choose which one is best for you. Some of the programs have more features, some of them have more bells and whistles. Others are very Spartan, such as Virtual Win, but Virtual Win offers you the option to find different modules, plugins, if you will, and use those in conjunction with the Virtual Win program. That allows you some really neat features and it's open source, which means it's free. You can license it or use it. You can modify it, upgrade it, or make changes to it if you're a programmer. If that's the case, I applaud you. I'm not a programmer myself, so have at it and knock yourselves out. But the main point I want to make in this video is that there are other options available. They are, in some cases, free. In some cases, they're paid programs. And in some cases, they're demos. Now please remember, I am focusing on the Windows environment for now. They do have these programs available in some cases for the Apple environment and for the Linux slash Ubuntu environment. To install in Ubuntu takes a little bit more in-depth understanding of the, of the Linux system. At some point I will get into some of the programming aspects of it. I'm still transitioning from Windows to the Linux environment, so please bear with me. Please make any comments or suggestions you can on my YouTube channel and or send me an email, please. I welcome your comments. I do welcome you to give me suggestions on topics that you want to pursue or if something I present to you is not clear, please send me an email or a comment on my YouTube channel. That will enable me to jump right in, get more information for you, and if I get enough requests, I will make a video about it and post what I find for you. I do appreciate your support. You are helping me basically at this point get my Little Steps website off the ground, which is www.howdoidothis01.webs.com. I will be posting some blog information there, some short tutorials, and some text lessons for those intermediate and advanced users who want to get some of this information in a text format. I will put some of that on the website as well as for those of you who want to learn some of these lessons, I'm going to produce a DVD. You can go there. When it's available, I will put up the page so you can buy the DVD from me. Most of the videos that I do produce will be available on YouTube or on Blip TV on my channel, How Do I Do This Zero One? And let's go ahead and get going with these other virtual desktop programs. Now I found four of them that are either free, open source, they are demo versions, or they are paid versions. The 
Way 3D Dash English is basically a different version of the Ubuntu or the Apple environment where it allows you some cool features such as the cube. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we'll get to that. You have Dexpot. This is another free download. It is free for home use, but you do have to pay for commercial use of this program. Virtual Desktop Manager. This is a free open source option for those Vista and Windows 7 users and it will support Windows XP. However, in the XP environment there are some serious limits as to what you can do with this program. Desk Space, formerly Yodem, has now gone to basically the Desk Space program. has some really cool features in it. However, it's $50 to buy the program. I wouldn't suggest you go out and spend money on buying any program until you check out the demo version of it first, see if it's what you want, see if it's going to meet your needs. I would mention at this point, whenever you put a program on your computer that runs, and it's running either in the background or in the foreground, such as these virtual desktops, it is taking up computer speed or computer time cycles, which will slow the computer down. Please understand that I'm kind of utilitarian and I would suggest that you follow my other tools in the YouTube video series to speed up your computer. One of the key things to that in the Windows XP environment is to remove as many icons from your desktops as you can. I'm not going to go into why, but trust me, it is a very good idea. Also, go through my tune-up series and my self-repair series on YouTube and on Blip TV. Trust me, they will help you and they will save you a lot of money for programs. Remember, the programs that you buy, such as CC Cleaner and or other cleaning type programs for making your computer quote unquote more efficient, they're running in the background. That means they're slowing your computer down. Most of the steps that I cover in my videos are utilitarian, which means you can do them yourself. Most of them will take you less than five minutes to do, and they will add manual security, which means you will minimize your risk of getting viruses, minimize your risk of having stray programs, worms, or other programs that you don't want running on your computer. The steps that I'm covering with little steps is to make you a more efficient Windows user, and I do encourage you to please go watch the other videos comment on the videos, rate the videos, and give me feedback. If you have something that's a concern or is not working for you, please send me a comment. I will try and address those issues for you. Now let's get back on the little steps here. I want to preview these different websites for you. Virtual Win is the first one, and I will make note here on this particular website. I'm not going to post this. I've already put it up on the screen for you. And I will have you note there are different versions available for the Virtual Win program. And you can also see here, check out modules and icon sets to go with this program. I've got the program set up with the Switch Desk plugin or module and the preview module, which allows me to hit my Control S and preview my desk. For watching this video, Please keep tuning in and please keep supporting my channel. Thanks again and have a great day.